Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kat and today I'm going to be setting up my 2023 bullet journal setup in my very first traveler's notebook from Notebook Therapy. I'm really excited to try a new type of notebook for the following year. I've been using a normal A5 or original size bullet journal for the past few years and I think I need something simpler, easier to set up and a bit smaller. So for 2023 I decided to give a traveler's journal a try and try the Hinoki collection a traveler's notebook from Notebook Therapy. In this video, I'm going to do a full-on haul and show you everything that it's in the Inoki collection and I'm going to be setting up my first pages for 2023. I will be sharing other pages that I create along the way on my Instagram, it's just at catsplanner, so follow me there if you haven't already. And thank you so much for joining me for this setup. This video is kindly sponsored by Notebook Therapy and you can use my code catsplanner for 10% off at their website that it's also linked down below. I hope you enjoy everything and let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to show you in this haul is going to be the traveler's notebook that I'm going to use for 2023. Everything in the packaging of the whole collection that I got in the mail didn't come with any plastic. Everything was wrapped in either thick paper or cardboard and I was really happy that nothing had plastic on it. I really like the packaging of the Inoki collection including these little um, pouches that the notebook comes in and I just feel so happy that they didn't use any plastic and that everything is reusable. This traveler's notebook is actually pretty big. It's the same size of my A5 bullet journal from Notebook Therapy. So if you have one of those, it's the same size. And I was really surprised that it was actually this big. It comes with a vegan leather cover and it also comes with three different refills. One is this plain refill where the pages are not white, they are kind of plain beige, which I really like. It's really soft to the eye. I've been really used to use white pages, so now this is going to be a bit better for my eyes. I think it fits the whole aesthetic of their notebook, so I'm really happy with this page color. Another refill is a grid one in the same beige page color. And I really like that the grids are really easy to just plan things out and they are centered. So these are just really perfect. And the last refill is just a plain craft paper one, which I really enjoy because craft paper is really hard to find here in Portugal. So I really like this one because it's also a very warm brown color. So I really like this refill as well. If you have a traveler's notebook like this and you want just the refills, Notebook Therapy is going to have them available soon. I actually asked them this because I was just planning ahead with having more refills. So yeah, in case you didn't know that, they are going to have the refills soon on their shop. Next up we have a stamp set and Notebook Therapy is really popular on their stamps because when you buy stamps you know they are good quality and you have a bunch of designs. In this set you have 10 different designs and they are all in wooden stamps. And one thing I noticed on these stamps is that they have a little smooshed belly. I don't even know how to call it, but when you take them out of the box, you can easily grab them with your fingers. And I just thought that that was a really nice touch and it's easier to grab. They are not flat on the side. So yeah, I thought that that was a really important detail. I really like that they added there. And in the box, you have some extra space so you can move them around and easily grab them out of the box. The designs on the stamps are really, really simple, which is something that I love on their stamps because they are multifunctional. You can use them anywhere to decorate your letters and your bullet journal. I really love the design on these stamps. Next in this collection is their washi tape set. This set comes with three different washi tapes in this pet material and one that is a stamp roll washi tape. I really like their pet washi tapes because they are really transparent and the designs are really versatile and multifunctional, so I really like these. But these in particular are milky special pet washi tapes as they describe it on their website. So they are not completely transparent, they are a little translucent, which I actually like because they feel like they are not completely transparent on the paper. I really like the different designs that they have because they really went overboard with the minimalistic designs of things. One of the washi tapes even has different girls doing different things in different outfits and doing different activities and I feel like that is the one that I love the most from this set because it's just so unique and you can use them as stickers. I think that it's my favorite washi tape from this set. Even though this set is just four washi tapes, it's a lot 
better than some of the other sets that they released because it's so minimal, but everything is here. It's minimal and essential. In this collection, they also came out with two pouches. One that it's more of a pouch, and this one is more of a pencil case. And this one is a dark brown corduroy pencil case. And I chose this one because I think it's going to be the best friend of my traveler's notebook. And I'm going to stop using their pop-up pencil case that they sell to start using this pouch as my pencil case for the next year. This pencil case seems to be small, but it has a lot of compartments and a lot of pockets, and it even has a smaller pencil case in the middle of it. So you have a lot of space and a lot of different pouches to put your stickers in, pens, rulers, erasers, everything that you use to do bullet journaling and scrapbooking, it can fit in this pouch. I will be doing a what's in my pencil case for 2023 if you're interested in that, and if so, let me know in the comments below. And the last product of this haul is a scrapbooking ephemera starter set. And let me tell you that this set is filled with supplies and ephemera and papers and stickers things that you can use on your pen pal letters and for bullet journaling on the go. First of all, in this set, you have a different paper that explains everything that it's inside and how you can use the different items. And it's really informative if you're not really used to scrapbooking. The first item that I picked up in this box is a set of different paper ephemeras, like labels and such, and fake wax seals. So these wax seals just have a sticker on the back, and if you want to use them on your letters or in your bullet journal, you just peel the back and you can use it as a sticker. But it's a wax seal, and I just love when Notebook Therapy includes these on their stationery sets. The small ephemera is really, really pretty and vintage, and I just love that they included different types and different colors of paper ephemera in this pouch. They also included two different types of lace, so you can use it on your pen pal letters and for decoration. I'm not going to use them in my bullet journal because that's a bit thick for the pages, but I cannot wait to make a pen pal with me video and use them on the envelope. They also included some paper laces, so you can use as decoration on envelopes and in your bullet journal. I use these a lot on my pen pal envelopes because they are really pretty and they come in different sizes and different designs around the, the paper laces, so I really enjoy that you have a vast variety of paper laces to play with in the stationery set, and they come hold up with this paper clip that I'm going to use to hold my traveler's notebook in place while I journal. It also includes some tickets that are stickers, and the paper is really thick, which I really like. And you also have this label book that you can tear the little square out and use as simple ephemera. And you have the entire book to use with a date and a two space. And it's just so cute that I've never seen Notebook Therapy release this before. And they also came out with some sticker sheets for the Inoki collection. And they are really useful because you have different things to track, different quotes, flowers, little labels that are in the same as the washi tapes and I just feel like they went all in in this stationery set and they nailed everything. The sticker sheets are not totally opaque, so they are translucent and you do have to cut the stickers around to use them, they are not pre-cut. And the last thing on this set is papers, and I was just so excited to see things from the Maple Dreams collection paper set in the set because it's basically the same aesthetic, but you have different papers, they are a bit smaller, and even includes plants on papers and they just smell really well and for a traveler's notebook and for this whole Hinoki collection aesthetic I really feel like they fit perfectly. And that was all for the Hinoki collection haul part of this video. Don't forget to use my code CATSPLANNER for 10% off at Notebook Therapy. And now let's plan for 2023 using all of the products that I just showed you. Okay, so the first thing that I'm doing in my brand new traveler's notebook for 2023 is just writing my name and the date. And I just gently wrote cat and the date is for 2023. And I normally keep this page simple because I'm not going to look at it ever again. So let's move on to my yearly cover page. For this cover page, I wanted to use everything in this collection, so I'm using some stamps, the washi tapes, and the paper ephemera. And I didn't really have an idea of what I was going to do for the cover page, I wanted something scrapbooking, vintage, and simple at the same time, but I didn't have a clear idea when I first started. So my process of creating something scrapbooking style is to just put on some papers on my notebook and 
let's see if I like the results in putting things together. The quote that I chose for this year is believe in yourself, trust the process, because this year has been a growth year. 2022 was filled with changes and now I'm finally happy and I just want that to continue for the following year. I also used some stickers from other washi tapes, some circle stickers, and it also started to come together so I was really enjoying it and I'm just really happy with how it turned out. The first collection in my traveler's notebook is my future log. A future log is when you have the months of the year with little calendars and you can see the dates and you can write the appointments and events that are coming up. Since I'm only going to probably fit six months in this traveler's notebook, I just did from January to June and I actually used the label book to stamp the calendars on that little stamp part of the paper and I can't really explain how I did it, but I think you can tell how I did it. I just stamped the mini calendars for each month on it and then you can just take it out and use it as stickers. So that's what I did. And I also decided to use the typewriter alphabet stamps from Notebook Therapy that I requested for this theme because they are fitting so well. So I just did that and instead of writing all of the days from all the months in my future log, I just used my calendar stamps and it saves me so much time. When I was stamping the letters, I noticed that the letters were not being completely straight and even on the little stamps, but I don't really care. They look really well in this uneven aesthetic, so I really like how it turned out and it was so simple to do. When I did the six months, I just started gluing them down and I added some labels and designs from the washi tapes behind the little calendars, so they are just not white on white, if that makes sense. To finish it up, I used the clip stamp stickers from the washi tape shop to put on April and January, and then I added some circle stickers to just spice everything up. And my future log is really, really simple, and on these pages I'm going to have one size for the calendars and to mark the days that something is happening, and the other half of the page just write any events. Following up the future log, I have a page dedicated for future events and future tasks. Normally, I like to separate my future tasks from my future events because some of these don't have a specific date already, so instead of keeping them in my future log or in my head and not written down somewhere else, I create this page for future events. So I'm going to put a day or the event first that something is going to happen and once it's actually scheduled I move the date into my future log. Same thing with tasks. Some tasks don't have a specific day or week or month to get done, but I always like to put a due date next to a task so I know when it is the last month to get it done. So for example, if I have to pay something related to my car and it has a specific date, I can put the date or the month then I have to pay that thing. And it really helps me to visualize if everything is getting done, if any due dates are coming up, and it helps me to not forget any important dates. I also use this future tasks um, section for doctor appointments. So if I have an appointment in January and I have to get back to it in April, I can just put in my future tasks doctor appointment in April and in March I can just schedule it. And it really helps me to not forget any health related tasks. Next up I have my year in pixels page. This is just a page where I'm going to track my mood for the whole year. If you know my channel for a while um, and you've been here for many years, uh, you know that I used to do mood trackers every month in my bullet journal, but that is something that just, it just doesn't make any sense for me anymore. I prefer to have a year in pixels page and track my mood every day in one single page instead of doing it on a monthly basis and have to draw a page every month for my mood. My mood is not that important, but I still want to track it, so I do a yearly page and it saves me so much time. And it's going to be easier to track my mood because I'm just going to have four different colors in shades of brown and you're going to see my Irene Pixels page for 2022 on my Instagram soon. Moving on to my last page in this setup, but not my last page in my collections, is my memories page. I actually did a memories page I think in all of my bullet journals so far, and it's a page that I don't use often, but that it's really important to look back at it. On this page I'm just going to glue down photos, receipts, stickers, anything that 
reminds me of a memory and I've been doing that for 2022 in my bullet journal and I'm going to post the final pages on my Instagram as well but I really like how this page came out because it's really simple so I just put the washi tape with the different ticket and traveling related things on the top and bottom and I wrote memories with my Muji pen and I transformed it into calligraphy with my Kuretake brush pen and it's that simple because Throughout the year, I'm going to put here some photos and things related to my memory, so I don't want to clutter the page a lot. So I think that washi tape and pen, it's enough for this page. So I'm really excited to use this setup for at least six months and see how it goes. I'm going to add more collections to my bullet journal and I will share them on my Instagram, so make sure to follow me there. And that is all for my 2023 bullet journal setup on my Traveler's Notebook. Thank you so much once again Notebook Therapy for sponsoring this video and for sending me all of these items, they are so beautiful. Thank you so much for watching this video if you watched it until this point. Leave a comment down below sharing your pages and collections for 2023 and add a Tokyo emoji in the comments below because I'm really excited to use this collection for the following year. Thank you so much for watching guys, happy new year and merry christmas and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!